February 20th, Joshua's Run. Joshua thought the world was ending, but he ran anyway, through the silvered trunks and gilded leaves of the moonlit forest, his boots crunching through the leaves, his muscles trembling with fatigue. His breath came in short, hard gasps, and his lungs burned with effort. Behind him, the hoofbeats grew louder, a thundering rumble that shook the ground as the unicorns gained. At any moment, he expected to feel the sharp tip of a horn pierce his chest before he was thrown to the ground and trampled. The unicorns permitted no trespass. I should stop, he said, to the little being cupped against his chest. Put, put you down. A little further, she pleaded. A few more steps. So Joshua kept running, right up until the elf stepped into his path and held up his hands. And even then, he only stopped because he ploughed into him. They both hit the ground in a string of elvish curses, but Joshua made sure no harm came to his passenger. Even when the elf had disentangled himself and laid the blade of a sword against his throat, Joshua's first thought was for her. Kicked over onto his back, he looked at the secret shelter in his hands. Will you be safe? He will not harm me. Joshua did not ask if the elf would harm him, but unfurled his hands and let his arms fall to his side. He'd freed her and brought her back, and his father brooked no such betrayals. He had nowhere else to be. The tiny woman he'd freed from the factory stood on his chest and looked up at the elf. She said nothing, but his response was immediate. Amalea! He sheathed his sword and knelt, holding out both hands so she could step onto them. My people, she replied, the unicorns have the trail. The unicorns. Joshua felt the trembling ground still as a forest of snow-white legs surrounded him. I am so dead, he thought but he refused to look away. Instead, he looked into foam-flecked muzzles and sky-coloured eyes and waited, for the unicorns would kill him as surely as his father would. For a moment, no one moved, and then the elf spoke. And the boy? He is an orphan, and the one who saved me, he's yours to raise. From the look on the elf's face, that news came as much of a surprise to him as it was to Josh.